Hello everyone and welcome to part 121. So we're 13 days old, unlucky for some. And it's day 15. So going by how the last few... Um, going by how things went with my previous couple of Digimon, I would imagine... Um, we're about two days away from fading away, and so I'd imagine we'll be fading away on about the 17th day or so. Of course, when I say past few Digimon, what that means is basically is the previous Super Ones. One that came from Ninjamon, and the others that have came from Gabumon and will probably continue to come from Gabamon, unless maybe Numamon can break the tradition. So I'd be I'd be surprised if we can if we can manage a natural digivolution with the weight and care mistakes and stats that we are going to have. I wonder when that was going to happen. I was going to say, because it, it seemed like... I remember seeing a speech bubble pop up saying that he needed to go, and I was going to say that, yeah, he held on to that for a long time. <laughs> Although I suppose that's um, mostly my doing for just going straight to Centaurama. So it's every 15 rests, I believe, that he needs to sleep, but then it's also this time. Yeah, it, 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 it's also this time, so I, I, I can count the number of rests, uh, the number of rests that he um, has before Digivolving, but then normally he has um, care mistakes and then when he does, it enables me to see the time, the clock, and um, and then um, I can get a rough idea of how far away I am from um, sleeping. Now, when this game starts, it I, I I haven't gone back and checked this, but when the game starts, I think it starts on year one, day one. I don't think there's a year zero, day one. I think it's year one, day one. And if you add on ten years to that, then that's year eleven, day one, isn't it? So, I'm, although I'm not 100%, I'm comfortable guessing that the medal for 10 years passing will be presented to me on year 11, day 1, and not year 10, day 1. Because 10 years have to pass, and I wasn't sure if it would be year 10, day 1, or year 11, day 1, but when I see things from that perspective, I'm guessing it will be year 11, day 1. But we're in the second half of year 8, so we've got, what, less than two and a half years? And since Ninjamon, we've gone through about a year and a half, almost. So, it's 
no more that bad. But um, I've I've been going a bit crazy with the um recordings. I've been recording so many um of these videos lately, and I haven't been getting a chance to save or edit them. And the last part that I saved and edited was part 105. Um, and obviously as things stand, I'm currently on part 121, so I've kind of got about 16 videos that need my attention. And really I should be saving and editing them, but instead I'm recording more and then leaving myself with even more videos that I'm going to have to be saving and editing. So I've got to, yeah, I've got to start with part 106, save and edit part 106, and then go all, go all the way through to however far I record before I start going back and saving and editing. It's just, um, I mean, I've been playing Final Fantasy X, the remastered version. Um, making progress with the um, no kills run that I mentioned. Um, although the the progress that I made that I mentioned last time, I actually um, started a new game because I got the impression I was doing things kind of wrong. So I started a new game, and I'm currently up to Wado Salam. And then obviously I've been playing a bit of Tomb Raider because of that discovery I made where I managed to do the last level in Tomb Raider 3 without performing any kills. And then obviously um, um, I've been like watching like other videos as well, videos that other people have been doing. Um, I've also been playing the uh, Simpsons Hit and Run. Um, recording on a friend's channel so I haven't really um before this recording I haven't really had much time for the whole editing side of things not to mention like real life issues and um, yesterday I actually did guest speaking for the first time um, in the videos that I've done I've um I've had a okay well, I think I was ready to yeah, I was ready to sleep, but the fade in away interrupted me there. Um, I, I, for the videos that I've done, I have had um, a guest speaker, but, it, um, but a real life friend of mine who would basically be in the same room as me, commentated with me. Um, but I've, um, but um, that's as far as it's gone. And um, yesterday, um, using Skype. I managed to um, do guest speak in with a guy called DVD Spike who is currently doing a sequence no kills run for Tomb Raider 3, a pacifist run that I did uh, back in 2012-2013 and um, obviously yesterday I did some guest speaking with him, um, obviously I did it via Skype um, and there is more guest speaking to be done. So, um... Yeah, I haven't really had time to be saving and editing, but the videos are safe on my computer, which is important. Um, yeah, I, I may just continue with this recorded marathon and just get every part recorded and then um, go back and basically then basically go back and then start saving and editing starting from the whichever video it is currently 106 and the way this is going that might still be the case So yeah, with um, the baby Digimon, 
Um, my, my plan really is to just rest a load of times and see if they then if they then need to digivolve. I got interrupted by a care mistake. I thought, well, might as well use that as an opportunity to check, but Digivolution wasn't quite ready there, but it probably will be now, because that's probably about seven, eight rests that I've had. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't think I would get an advantage from delaying the digivolution because, well, I mean, um, it doesn't matter if I rest with one Digimon or rest with another. The same amount, the same amount of time is going to be passing. But at least with Coromon, there's the chance of getting a, a decent rest. I mean, I mean, I mean, a decent sleep, because he sleeps for about three hours or so. And the quicker I get Koromon, might mean the quicker I get Gabumon, and then that's when things start to speed up a bit. It's been about six hours, I would say. But he doesn't need to sleep, okay. Okay, well, either I've passed it or I've not reached it. Either I've passed Coromon's sleeping point or I haven't reached it. Eh, uh, Coromon's weird. In training. In training, Digimon are weird. If you're gonna have a care mistake, then I'll use that as a cue to check, and it works out this time. Yeah, good old Coromon. I, um, sad as it may sound, I've, I've, I've actually, um, in the past, I've actually dreamt about Coromon. I know it sounds kind of sad, um, but it, it wasn't just Coromon, it was Coromon or Greymon, Black War Greymon. For some reason I had a dream that Black War Greymon was trying to attack Coromon and then War Greymon had the job of trying to fight off Black War Greymon and save Coromon from Black War Greymon, which he did manage to do. But then when I woke up it got me thinking, why would Black War Greymon pick on a Digimon like Coromon in the second season of Digimon, Black War Greymon? went round searching for a worthy opponent, and it's just like, you know, Coromon against Black War Greymon, you know, that's a fair fight, isn't it? Why wouldn't Black War Greymon pick on Coromon? Well, you, you would hope that he wouldn't, but dreams are dreams. Dreams have never made sense and never will. Okay, so that's the second sleep. So, the Digivolution should be coming up, and it's about the time that Gabumon sleeps, which is rather convenient.
So we're gonna break tradition and maybe see a different champion Digimon other than Sukumon. Just for the just in the interest of being different. To be honest, I would probably rather it not happen because at least with Gabumon and Sukumon I've gotten to um, get the gist of their sleeping routines so I know roughly when to stop resting and go into the inventory and let them sleep. Um, a new Digimon would mean a new routine which might complicate things somewhat. But the if there is a new Digimon it would most probably be new. But yeah, um, Gabumon, wait until you hear the night music, rest once more, boom, you're done. Uh, Sukumon, I believe it's one hour before it goes dark, but the night audio doesn't play because when it, the first hour in which it goes dark, I think the day music still plays, and then it's not until about an hour later the night music then kicks in. But um, with Sukumon, it's an hour before it goes dark. I, I, I think. I, I think it's. I think that's right. Because it's two hours from now when Sukumon um, sleeps. Which I think is one hour before it goes dark, but the. Day or the, the, the day music still plays, and then the hour after that, I think, is when the the night music starts. So I believe the night music is going to begin after this rest, and it has, which means Gabumon's sleep is just after this rest. In my experiences, it can vary somewhat. I think depending on what you do with your Digimon throughout the day, what activities you do, I think it can have a small influence on the time in which they sleep. For example, if you spend like the whole day, you know, um, like using the gym or having battles, um, then I think they may end up wanting to sleep a, a little bit earlier, or at least it can happen, as opposed to if you just spend the whole day resting or doing very little, which is exactly what I'm doing. So it, it might be possible that the Digimon, if I was to do things differently, they might want to sleep a bit earlier, but... Obviously, resting is the quickest way to pass the day, so even if it does mean sleeping a bit later, we're still doing things much quicker in doing things this way. Not to mention that if it means that the routine is going to be the same every time, at least I'll have an understanding of it, or, or the opportunity to get a feel for it.
sure if my mind's playing tricks on me, but I can't help but feel that Gabumon should have digivolved by now. It feels like I've had him for longer than I've had him previously. Because every time he's had a care mistake for the last couple, I've kind of been expecting him to then digivolve. Gonna be the one? Yes. Because when I say we are now digivolving, what that really means is inverted commas digivolving. Because when you digivolve to any of the filth Digimon, you're not really digivolving, are you? Doing because it's a bad like digivolution. Mm 
There, did you just in time? Two hours before bedtime. Fine, why don't you just eat the near? Eat the ones that are near. Is that it? Is that what is that high one as well? I do wonder what, when when they get hungry, why doesn't eating poop off the ground, why doesn't that fulfill their appetite? Make the game easier, I don't have to spend as much on meat or mushrooms. Well you could just not feed your Digimon at all, of course. So that'll be an end of the part. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed.